Welcome to One Minute Bugs. I'm Dennis Crawford. G'day and welcome to Bug Basics number two. Today we're going to look at insect life cycles. As I mentioned in the first Bug Basics, there's more than one type of insect life cycle. The type of life cycle that most people are familiar with is the one known as complete metamorphosis or hollow metabolis. Insects which have such a life cycle include uh, moths and butterflies, uh, beetles, flies, uh, lacewings, ants, bees, wasps. To illustrate that sort of life cycle, let's look at a silk moth. As you can see, the life cycle starts off with a moth laying eggs. And from those eggs hatch small larvae, usually one to two millimetres long, and they look something like this. And they molt and get bigger and molt and get bigger. And those larval stages are called instars. And after a few molts, they become a full-size larva. Five or six instars is fairly normal. But if we just pause here for a sec, because in the first bug basics, I talked about how it's easy to tell the main body parts of an insect, the head, the thorax, the abdomen, with a adult insect and it's not so easy with a larva. Um, but if you take this caterpillar here, we've got a set of legs here and more legs down here. And if you realize that these are the true legs, and because legs are always attached to the thorax, this must be the thorax. And of course, that's what it is. You've got head, you've got three segments of thorax, and then the abdomen starts about here and all that is the abdomen. These other legs are known as abdominal prolegs. And depending on the species of caterpillar or the family of uh, caterpillar involved, they'll have a varying number of prolegs, but they always have three pairs of true legs or thoracic legs. Then the larva pupates. And we have pupae like this. In this case, it's a moth and lots of moths have cocoons around their pupae, and from the pupa we eventually get the adult insects which mate and away it goes again. Now if we look at the life cycle all in, all in the one image, egg, larva, pupa, adult. Metamorphosis actually means great change and the great change they're talking about is the difference between the larva and the adult and the change occurs at the pupal stage. Other insects have similar life cycles, including beneficial insects. And it's a good idea to know what the immature forms of beneficial insects look like so you don't accidentally squash them or kill them in some other way. So as I mentioned, beetles also have this type of life cycle, which includes ladybird beetles. Then we have eggs, and from the eggs hatch small larvae, these strange little critters, which go through their molting phase, their instars, until you get a full-size larva, which looks something like this. There's a var variations in how spiky they are and the colours of them, depending on the species, but this is what they look like, roughly. Um, and then they pupate. That's what a ladybird pupa looks like. And from there, you get the adult beetles again. Um, another beneficial insect, and we'll look at this all at once, uh, lacewings. So you start with eggs up here, um, and it depends on the type of lacewing. These green lacewings have eggs on stalks, brown lacewings don't, the eggs are just attached to the plant. Then you get a larva, which looks roughly like this. These are, this is a green lacewing. Um, brown lacewings don't do this weird thing of stacking bits and pieces on top of themselves. Then you get a pupa, then you get an adult. And so once again, you can see it's massively different between the larva and the adult. Um, just one more, a hoverfly. So we have a hoverfly egg right next to an aphid, and that's what the hoverfly adults do. They lay their eggs right in amongst aphids. From there hatch these aphid-eating larvae, then it pupates, and then you have the adult. And so once again, incredibly different between the larva and the adult complete metamorphosis. Don't go squashing these. Um, you know, being a fly larva, it's a maggot. It's fine because they are aphid eating machines and very much worth having in the garden, as are the adults, which are pollinators. As I mentioned, this sort of life cycle isn't the only sort of life cycle. There's the other one 
that is called incomplete metamorphosis or hemimetabolis. And insects such as bugs and grasshoppers and uh, mantids and earwigs and cockroaches, all these insects have a life cycle of incomplete metamorphosis. So let's look at one close up. We start with eggs. These are the eggs of the Australian plague locust from which hatch these little guys. And as you can see, it's tiny. That's a five cent piece there um, as a scale. So what you have hatching out of the egg is a miniature version of the adult. They molt and get bigger and go through various instars, but these are nymphs rather than larvae. And eventually they get to the last nymph stage where they have wing buds. Um, newly molted insects often are very pale like the one at the back. And then they molt one more time and we have the adult. Right from the egg, these guys can chew because they've got chewing mouth parts and so they're potentially damaging plants right from the get-go all the way through to the adult phase. So they don't have that pupil phase where there's no eating going on. There's this um, conversion, if you like, from a larval form to an adult form. These types of insects don't do it. So if it's a pest insect like this type of um, Harlequin bug. This is the Harlequin bug of um, southern Australia. You don't want them to get to this stage. Now often with bugs, the immature forms cluster together for protection. So if you know this and you know what they look like roughly, you can just prune off a few leaves and end of problem. Rather than letting them go through their various nymph stages, their various molts, and becoming adults where they're going to do a heck of a lot more damage. Now the same applies to some predatory insects. There are predatory bugs. And here's one here. These are the eggs and first stage nymphs of the predatory shield bug. And you think, well, we've got these little red things clustered, but didn't they look like the harlequin bug nymphs? But the dead giveaway is, are the eggs. You won't see other eggs that look like this, kind of like black eyes with white eyelashes. And then they go through their nymph stages and become these insects Predatory shield bugs are the most widely spread predatory insect in Australia. Very much worth having. So keep an eye out for those black eggs with white eyelashes. It really is worth knowing what these insects look like in their juvenile stages. And around about this stage, I probably should recommend a good book. But there are insects which have life cycles which are kind of in between these two of the complete and incomplete metamorphosis, where you have these strange, almost pupil stages. Insects like thrips and uh, whitefly. Um, so we're going to look at that in the next Bug Basics. But that won't be the next video. The next video will revert to the normal format and we'll look at a unique Australian insect that lives on gum trees. Thanks for watching.